Oh hey, what's up my dudes? <laughs> I didn't see you there. Alright, so today we're going to work on this bad boy here, the hydrogen generator. We're going to try to get it up and running a little better and it's leaking. I don't know if you can see it, but it's leaking. Leaky, leaky. We don't want that. That's just a waste of electrolyte. So, we're going to fix that up, take it apart, see if we can get it to get running good and hard today. And then we're going to use that explosive gas from that and do some fun experiments with some little brothers. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is drain this dude here. I thought ahead when I was building it and I put a little drain valve. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Look at that. Now if you don't know, this isn't just water. It's water mixed with uh, 20, was it 20 percent or 28 percent of potassium hydroxide. And basically what that does is it turns the regular distilled water into an electrolyte, which is basically just water that is more conductive, electricity flows through it better. That way we can actually make gas. The more conductive the water is, the more uh, efficient this will create the gas. Also, if you don't know, this stuff is pretty much an acid now, and if you touch it, it burns you. <laughs> it basically will dissolve your skin. Some people, my fingers are slippy right now, like, like they feel soapy. That is because it is literally digesting my skin right now. I should have wore gloves. I mean, it's not gonna. Obviously, it's not healthy for you, but it's not gonna. It's not gonna kill you if you touch it once. If you get it on your arm or something, you'll feel it burning you, which I think it just rubs some on my arm. All right. So as you can see, there's no more water coming out. Well, little, little water coming out. Uh, but that doesn't mean this thing is empty. Yes, this tube is empty. That's just the reservoir. This is actually still full. There's the water level. Still tippy top full. We still gotta drain that. So what I'll do is I'll raise this up. That way all these hoses are bent down and let gravity take the rest away. All right, here we go. So got it drained as much as I could. Um, there's still a little bit left in there. Not much, but enough that I had to put on gloves because it was starting to burn my hands. So, yeah, I'm gonna pull her apart and see what we got going on here. And if you're wondering how this actually works, is the whole the whole concept of it, the whole thing is something called electrolysis. It is if you know already, then you know. But if not, it's basically it's basically the decomposing of water. Uh, it pulls, it literally pulls, breaks the water down into its, into its two, well, three technically, uh, molecules or atoms or what the frick are you gonna call them. Uh, there's, water is H2O. Two hydrogens, H2, which is two hydrogens, and one oxygen, which is the O. And if you don't know, hydrogen on the, on the periodic table, I think is the first one, which is uh, extremely flammable. And when it burns, it burns hot, like really hot. And which is all oh, cool and all, but when you mix, when you mix uh, hydrogen and oxygen together at 
at the uh, in the correct ratio, which is water, it comes out as HHO. So the two hydrogens are separate, and the oxygen is separate. And when you that combination, that exact mixture is uh, is literally explosive. Um, it's a crazy explosive. It's actually dangerous. So if you do ever do this for yourself, I suggest being smart about it, or else you can and will get hurt pretty easily. This thing hasn't been apart in probably three, four years. All right, so here's the gaskets. I actually hand cut these out of a big sheet of EPDM, um, like rubber sheet, EPDM because this stuff in here is extremely corrosive and it would eat away regular stuff. All right, now <clears throat> there's, I think seven of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's seven of these uh, big ones, which are, by the way, this is type 316 stainless steel. It, would, it has to be high grade stainless steel or it would or it would uh, corrode and rust any other type of metal. It'll actually eat away other metals. All right. So and in between each one of those is a smaller, smaller sheet of, see this one here, smaller. This one here has two slits slit here and a slit here. Uh, this one only has one slit and two holes. I did that on purpose, obviously. That way, I don't really need to explain why, but, and this one is the same as the big one. One slit, two holes. They alternate. Gasket. 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 And another big plate. See, this one is opposite from that big plate. Two slits instead of a slit and two holes. We'll set this over here as well. Gasket. That. 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 Gasket. That. Now we're back at the beginning. It restarts. Slit, two holes. Finally got it cleaned up and back together for the most part. Oh boy, that took way longer than I was hoping. So there we are. Got our all our plates hooked up. Everything's together. All we gotta do is put these the rest of these rods through in between each one of these so there there every two me two on each side and then we gotta put these guys in there so ugh, I'll get to doing that and I'll get back to you again all right hey she's done got it back together did it a little differently I decided not to put the to put the bolts in through here because when I was putting it back together, I didn't have the plates exactly how they were, so these holes don't completely line up, so I just threw that piece of aluminum across and bolted it in the center, so that'll take care of it, that'll work. So I will get this installed back on the cart, get everything hooked up, and we'll see if she runs.
Okay, let's put it in here now, eh? Alright, if you can't tell by the looks of it, this thing is heavy. This thing's probably 60, 70 pounds. I lied, maybe 50. But still, it's heavy and awkward. This hooked up. So, so basically here, this, this tube here is the main, main gas tube. Gas, or the actual uh, gas in, in gas form <laughs> is me coming up this way through that tube. The rest, these, some gas will come up through here, through these three tubes on the bottom. But for the, for the most part, those are for, for the, the liquid to keep cycling through. Because basically this whole thing is one big cycle. That's what it's going to do. If it didn't do that, this whole thing would overheat. And when it gets hot, it gets super inefficient and probably dangerous. I don't know. I don't let it overheat. Alright, so this here is the water reservoir or the reservoir for the ex for the extra liquid that's not in there. So this I'll fill it from here and all these tubes will disperse it through the rest of the the machine thing. So I saved the liquid from it because that would be a waste. I just mixed this uh, like about a week ago. So Pretty bowels. It's all going down into those tubes. Going in there, filling that up. A little more yet. Then we gotta fill that reservoir. And then these tubes here, this tube and this tube are bubblers, meaning meaning that the gas that comes up, there's gonna be li this liquid's gonna be circulating down, but the gas is also gonna be coming up bubbling through here and coming out this hose boop, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, can you still see that? Yeah. Yes, so it's coming out of this main tube here and, boop, and the hydrogen and oxygen mixture 
is coming up in through here. In here there will be distilled water to kind of purify, to get the excess uh, potassium hydroxide, which is going to be kind of mixed in to the hydrogen gas. So this here pretty much tries to take that out a little bit. Plus the bubbler, it's a safety feature. That way there's no flashbacks, because if there is a flashback and this wasn't here, this whole thing would explode. So this here is basically a safety feature and a filter at the same time. So that's what that is. Let's get a little bit more. I have two batteries here. This runs off of, these are two like lawn and garden batteries. They're for your flowers to charge. Um, so have two, there's, there's two 12 volts and this thing if I got all my calculations right, it should run off of 200 amps DC. So, these batteries are, are just about enough to, just about enough to power it, but not for long because it's sucking a lot of, a lot of jute. So I hook up this, hook up that bad boy, battery charger, I'll put it on, uh, here, let me put it on, on, and then I'll put it on 40 amp boost, meaning 40 amp boost. There's a 200 amp engine start, which would be ideal, but it has a safe, it's only for engine start, so it has a safety feature thing that it only runs for for a few minutes or a minute or so. Negative, positive, negative, positive. And there's four neutral plates in between which divide the volts up. So 12 volts go through here and here, but there'll be two volts, 2.6 is what we want in between for each of these. All right, so I'm going to show you what one cell looks like because I forgot to put on those things. I'll uh, whatever you'll see. Uh, so there is 20 or 12 volts going through here. Approximately what we want is 200 amps to go through. So, yeah. Mm. All right, so hook up one cell. Grab you real quick. Eh. All right. See that? Boop, boop. I have one cell hooked up, meaning a negative and a positive, that close together. And you can see what one cell does. See all those bubbles going up through the tubes. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and here's the outlet end. So, unhook this. Boop. Scary. All right, my dudes, I'm all, I'm all wet and sweaty from doing this, eh? All right, so, yeah, what I did was I put these little bars on, and they're only touching there, there, and there, 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 and there. So we got the negative side and the positive side here. I'm going to hook up to that. Uh, I'll do it right now as I'm holding it here. How about that? So we got let's put the negative first. Negative and positive. And immediately it starts leaking. Nice. <laughs> Alright, uh, why was it doing that? Duh, I didn't tighten this cap on here. Silly B. Here, how about, how about I just show you this? Negative side. Blub blub. And I'll give you a taste of give you a taste of how 
explosive this stuff really is. Alrighty. So. Torch. Boomy, boomy. That's what we like. There's your problem. <laughs> Look at that. That's not gas. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, so just wanted to let you know that I'm an idiot and all right, balloon, balloon and hydrogen, oxy hydrogen. Now we wait. And wait. My cousin's here. How about while we wait? We we'll show you Dylan. See that? Oh, my wife's home. That's Dylan. This is how we do it. This here is a bomb, literally not a destructive bomb, but it's a bomb. It's no shrapnel, just a loud noise and scary fire. All right, that's good enough. This is just supposed to be a sample for the next video, you know. Say hi, Ashland. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll kill you. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you know you're not going to go for it and make a bomb and shit. <laughs>